my name is David. Welcome to my channel. Uh, today I have uh, the, the Dell XPS 15. It's uh, the model uh, 9575 and uh, it's a convertible laptop. It's, you can do the 360 degree stuff with it and have it in different positions. Uh, but that's not what I'm interested about. Uh, it's um, uh, Thunderbolt 3 ports here, together with a cable g processor that is uh, inside this um, laptop. So we have uh, almost no legacy supports. We have uh, two Thunderbolt 3 ports here, with both with four-lane PCIe connection. And on this side we have um, two USB type, type uh, C ports also. Uh, this one, these one are USB uh, 3.1. And uh, we have one leg support, that is the, the microphone, the 3.5 mm uh, headphone jack. And of course, a micro SD card slot. So, I will try that out with uh, my EGBU, the Razer Core. Um, inside the Razer Core, I have a GTX 1080 Ti. And uh, yeah, we'll see how that works. Stay tuned. So uh, let's start. Uh, here we have the Thunderbolt 3 cable that comes from uh, the Razer Core, and uh, it's just to connect it in um, in an appropriate port on the left side. Both are Thunderbolt 3, so you can choose either of them. So we get a warning uh, regarding power management, uh, but we can ignore that uh, for now. In order to correct it, I think it's just to connect the standard power adapter. So here you have to accept uh, the Thunderbolt uh, connection, uh, always connect, as you will see. So that one needs to be uh, in always connect and the other one also because there are two uh, Thunderbolt uh, uh, protocols in the, the Razer core. One for uh, the GPU and one for the USB ports and uh, and uh, the um, uh, Ethernet connection. So okay, now it's connected, and uh, let's check out uh, checking out uh, the device manager. Here you can see it's connected. It's a bit hard to see on this uh, distance, but uh, the device manager. And here you can see it's, uh, it says it's a um, generic uh, Microsoft uh, display, display adapter. So uh, that one needs to be uh, updated. So uh, updating the drivers and uh, search automatically search for uh, the, the right uh, drivers. And uh, it's downloaded. This takes uh, a while because it's quite a large uh, file. So it's uh, installing. That also takes uh, quite some some time. And there is the Razer Core behind uh, the computer. You can see it. Uh, it's uh, already spinning. And there is a Thunderbolt 3 dock from uh, Lenovo that I'm also going to try out. And that's good because it, there are two Thunderbolt 3 ports. Uh, unlike the Huawei MateBook X uh, Pro that only had one uh, US, uh, USB port with Thunderbolt protocol. So the installation is complete and uh, you can see here that uh, my GeForce uh, 1080Ti in the Razer Core is connected. And uh, usually you can see here it's a message in Swedish but uh, it says uh, that you have to restart the computer before uh, before it uh, will work at, as uh, thought. Mm. 
so disconnecting uh, the device. Boot time is uh, very fast on this device. I had an XPS 13 uh, about a couple of years ago. That was very slow uh, in the startup procedure. So now I'll check out if uh, the display, um, the two monitors in the background are um, connected to the Razer Core since uh, since before because I have used uh, this on several systems the last uh, one and a half year. And you can see again the GeForce uh, 1080 Ti is uh, available. Sometimes it, uh, it can take some time before, uh, before the monitors uh, wake up. Uh, but now you can see they are uh, connected and everything looks uh, nice. If you have any questions, please uh, post them in the comment section below. So this was an easy exercise. The Dell XPS 15 uh, responded quickly when connected to the Razer Core. And uh, when uh, downloading the drivers, it recognizes the GeForce 1080 quite immediately. So what do you think, uh, think about this solution? Is this more for an uh, ultralight 13-inch uh, laptop like the HP Spectre X360 or the Huawei MateBook X Pro. You can see the videos in my channel regarding these devices. Uh, they, they, their performance are quite good actually. But uh, I guess uh, this will be another story because in uh, this um, Dell XPS uh, 15 it's a um, uh, cable like G processor and um, it's the i5-8305 that should give me a boost when playing games like uh, PUBG or Witcher 3 or other games that are quite demanding for the processor as well as the GPU of course. Um, if you like this video, please subscribe and uh, press the notification bell because I will uh, produce other videos uh, regarding uh, the performance of this system and, uh, and uh, some gaming uh, demonstration also. So please subscribe and uh, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.